clouds descend over the mountains, cutting vertical visibility to almost zero. Thanks to the state-of-the-art equipment on board the Coast Guard's airplane, they are, however, able to see through the clouds. And what they see gives cause for concern. They can see there's a depression in the glacier's surface. From history, they know what this means. This is what the neighboring Vatnajökull glacier looked like in 1996. The glacier is collapsing. Heat from underneath is melting the ice. Now, they see depressions in the Eyjafjallajökull glacier. For the Coast Guard, it means only one thing. A fissure has opened under the ice. An eruption is imminent. Unlike the first eruptions, this one is explosive. When the hot magma meets the glacier ice and cold meltwater, the result is the most violent kind of volcanic eruption. The plume shoots out of the volcano at almost the speed of sound, ejecting the ash particles at a speed of 300 meters per second to a height of eight kilometers. Gas inside the particles expands with explosive speed helping to lift the particles into the stratosphere. The fissure under the ice quickly grows to more than two kilometers. Heavier particles in the plume rain down close to the volcano. Initially, the volcano emits 700 tons of ash per second. In the first three days, the volume of ash is 140 million cubic meters. And again, that's just the first three days. On the lee side of the mountain, there's a deceiving tranquil beauty. Downwind, another story is brewing. A rescue plan is set in motion. People have to evacuate their homes immediately. Schools turn into rescue centers, and worried locals and tourists who happen to be in the area can now only wait and see. The fate of their homes, farms, and livelihood are now in the hands of the forces of nature.